Good morning, all you lovely people out there. I pray that these four hymns I have for you this morning will help you to praise God in your hearts this morning. <laughs> the first one is a request from a dear friend of mine who is in palliative care. It's all hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels prostrate fall. Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Oh, that with yonder sacred throng we at his feet may fall. We'll join the everlasting song and crown him Lord of all. The second one is also um, a request from a lady that I met at the convention and she asked me to play this for her husband. O oh Lord my God, when I in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made, I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Saviour God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. The two lovely soft ones here I'd like to pray, uh, play also for my friend in palliative care. Uh, the first one is, on a hill far away stood an old rugged cross. 
the emblem of suffering and shame. And I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. So I'll cherish the old rugged cross till my trophies I at last lay down. I will cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it one day for a crown. And the last one is rock of ages cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy riven side which flowed be of sin a double cure. Cleanse me from its guilt and power. a blessing to you all. Um, I've got two beautiful readings here this morning. The first one is um, Philippians, uh, remembering what Paul said to be, no matter what state you find yourself in there, with to be content. I've got two lovely readings, Philippians 4, 6 and 7. 
Don't worry about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. What a beautiful one. And the next one is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 8 and 9. Whom having not seen, this is about the precious Lord Jesus, of course, our dear Saviour. Whom having not seen, you love, in whom though now ye see him not yet believing, you rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory, receiving the end of your faith, even the salvation of your souls. So I just commend you all to the love of God this morning and pray God will bless my dear friend in palliative care and that dear lady and her husband who um, had the request. So God bless you all and much love to you all. And I'll see you next week. <laughs> Goodbye.